Hello, how are you? Today I present this video I hope you this useful for your studies, or to remember all the translation the seasons, solstices and equinoxes. The transfer is the movement by which the Earth describes one complete revolution around the Sun, i.e. a complete orbit. The time it takes the Earth to carry out a complete translation is what we call a year, approximately 365 days and 6 hours. Because of these extra hours every 4 years must get one more day, are what we call leap years. As the orbit of the Earth is not exactly circular, but oval or elliptical, it cannot define the radius, but two axes, one larger and one smaller so that twice a year the Earth passes through the ends of major axis, and two times a minor axis. The point of the orbit of the Earth which coincides with one end of the axis called the solstice. Two solstices, one coincides with the beginning of summer summer solstice and the other with the onset of winter winter solstice. The summer solstice is also the date that has the shortest night of the year and winter is the longest night of the year equinoxes and solstices. The points of the orbit in the Earth coincides with the ends of a minor axis are called equinoxes. Also two, which coincide with the beginning of spring journal equinox and fall autumn equinox. The equinoxes are the days of the year in which the day and night are the same. From the spring equinox to the summer solstice the length of the night is getting smaller, and more and more hours of daylight. From the summer solstice the daylight hours are reduced, until the autumn equinox are equal hours of light and darkness, and the winter solstice has reached the maximum hours of darkness. The solstices and equinoxes are different in the northern hemisphere and, and in the south, because while in a given hemisphere summer solstice, the other is the winter and vice versa, and so do the equinoxes. The seasons are caused by the tilt of Earth's axis. As the Earth's axis is not straight, but is inclined to the plane of its orbit, the Sun's rays do not reach the entire face evenly illuminated, but arrive earlier and more straight to one hemisphere to the other northern or southern hemisphere, so temperatures will be somewhat higher. In the hemisphere where the radiation comes before and straighter, that is, in one hemisphere temperatures are somewhat higher than in the other hemisphere. This forms the basis of the stations. When one hemisphere the sun come before, the temperatures are higher and the hemisphere will be near the summer, while in the other hemisphere temperatures will be lower and will be near the winter. In other words, when in Spain northern hemisphere summer are in Argentina southern hemisphere are in winter. Did you know that South American countries like Argentina, Chile, Paraguay and Uruguay Christmas celebrated in summer? I wish your expectations in the video have been met and you bring forth good grades. If you liked and has been useful for you, pass the video to classmates. Ah, you can also give the fingertips pointing up. I do. Thank you. You'd spend a nice day.